guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is Kanitha welcome welcome guys today's video I'm going to show you the finish um, DIY kitchen tour it's not fully finished but we're gonna get to it all right so this is what you're gonna see we're gonna see I did the floor I did the backsplash and um, yes we're gonna go see what I've done okay so let's get back to this video but before we get back to this video don't forget to like subscribe share and comment i would really appreciate that guys i have a goal for this month i would love to reach 600 subscribers by the end of this month i know you guys have helped me before with my 500 um, subscribers so guys i am counting on you so you guys can help me again how can you help me reach 600 subscribers if you already subscribed here what you can do you can share this video you can share one of my videos if you know someone some girls who love hair and natural hair find one of my videos i'll post one right here and and send it to them okay and another way you can help me to gain more subscribers um take this video you know someone who love diys who love doing things with their hands send this video to them share this video with i'm um, with them another way the third way that you can do is share this video with all the groups on your phone especially the groups that don't know how to shh, they keep texting every second so share this video with them share one of my videos with them okay on your whatsapp regular text instagram wherever facebook share this video so thank you so much in advance thank you for subscribing and thank you for sharing my video i appreciate that so let's get back to the video so take a look to how it used to look how the kitchen used to look and compare to the updates okay kitchen follow me the kitchen is a little bit tight um once you are here i'm gonna show you you know, compared to the kitchen that I have right now, uh, oh, white stove as well, and cabinets. The cabinets are not brand new, which I don't like that, but I think I have enough cabinet space considering living in Brooklyn.
putting down the the towels. Yo, it wasn't that difficult, but to say something, I think it wasn't that difficult. But this corner right here, it's a pain. It was a pain, and caught every piece was terrible. So I haven't um burnt it yet. So this is how it looks. This one here. Every piece right here. So I'm thinking that when I put the grout, it will look okay. So so far, this is where we at, and it's not difficult, but it's just tedious. And the cutting the pieces in my floor is not leveled, so it just was a pain. This is how much I have left. It was one piece and this little piece right here so it was great i did not even use this waste of money because i was like i i, I don't want to do it this is too too tedious when you put the the um the sticky down the um the tile it it automatically gets thick on the plastic that i put so it's hard to shift to move it no if it was like regular regular tiles then i could understand i do not like this how like it's all together and then this is gonna be right here this is gonna be right here i want it like this but not like straight like this together so well, everything is like this but it is what it is i'm about to mix the mixer and then we're gonna mix it As I mentioned before it's not fully done because I'm not done decorating there are certain things I need to buy but so far I like it it makes a big difference okay a big 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 difference I should also mention guys everything that I have done it is temporarily it's not permanent none of the things that I have done here um, or permanent so once I'm when I'm leaving I can just pick up the floor and go I can just rip the backsplash and go and no damage okay so that's why it is a um, rental friendly kitchen update or DIY so with all this talk let's get to the video what I've done
let's see the flow okay so this is the flow this is how i when i was putting it um it's time i should just tell you guys it is time consuming it's not gonna take you about an hour five hours six hours this took me but maybe i would say two days but really i started doing the seven o'clock and then the next day let's just add it to probably it will take you about eight hours okay if however you want to divide it you can do four hours put it down if you fast if you it, the part that is really consuming that is really tedious it is cutting the tile oh my god i hated that part so my floor is not leveled it's not really um straight so i had such a difficult time to cut the right size of angles so if your floors is straight and then you don't have that issue it would be way easier for you but for me it was not that easy so as you can see part of it is not really it looks like i create the um the little space i just did it in the front so the back is not not so much nobody really gonna notice that plus the carpet is on the floor the um not the carpet the area rug is on the floor also it does not look bad it does not look bad even when the uh, they look attach it together so let's move on to the back splash that i did i have this little tray right here which is marble so it's just so heavy i put it right here and then this is sugar right here um brown sugar as you can see the theme the, the little accent um color that i have for this kitchen it is um red and um my napkin holder i wish i had gotten a napkin holder that's like you know i could put it up there just to create a space but it is what it is oh guys i forgot to mention i did the knobs i'll show you soon so right here is um my olive oil my avocado oil which i need to get uh um i'll show you guys what i need to get for the oil I'm planning to get this little, these little thing, olive oil on Amazon. Next thing here is this gorgeous um, cutting board that I got from TJ. I think TJ Maxx, something like that. And um, these oil, I got them from Trader Joe's. Right here is my, what do you call this? <laughs> I forget what you call this, guys. It's like passing low weekly rate, weekly, weekly it work. Me ba galamba kung kisa mo kisa mo gili. As you can see, I have this. I don't know the name. Okay, I do not know the name. Whatever. And I have my um, snake plants right here. So gray i like this gray right here it happens to be like this is good this is gray it was um not planned and over here as you guys know i did the shelves over here which i still have to fix um to organize because it's not organized everything is just like i'm just putting them there like i said this thing is not fully done but it has created a lot of space for me just to put things that's what you have to do when you live in new york you just got to create up you got to create upward like wall space just to make sure you get extra space so right here i put one of my pots up here i have a little character pads up there um i'll show you guys my little um little garlic pad i can put under um in the open and i have my tea section over here my matcha different teas and this little thing is so cute um and then I, I don't really drink alcohol but this is i don't know how long ago i have this i think this is they call this the cracked cracked um <laughs> cracked wine something like that i think it gives you a headache once when you drink it so um my sister mostly drink it when she get when she comes here and i have this wine right here from mexico that i haven't opened is it someone bought me some wine yeah i have um 
I got these from Mexico, which they're really good. And I act like I'm gonna be making drinks. But if anybody comes over, I have this right here. And I got this little wine long time ago from Guyana. It's still here. I don't drink like that, guys. I do not drink. So I have my blender for my apis. You know, coffee cups and my juicer and my cutting board over here and down here down here that's where i put my water when i buy kisses of water so this corner right here is where i put the garbage <laughs> sorry guys the garbage can is and my boom is over here and i have another plant i don't i forgot the name of this plant but this is right here garlic so i peeled i peeled some garlic and but they started to like you know roots to grow wood so i kind of like put them here so they can grow into scallion so when you get over here this is i got this from um costa rica a few years ago and right here this is a little accent wall that i did which is so cute guys so um I think it is cute it's not like i'm gonna be using them because i have too many but i use these because they like like two cup two spoon one spoon so yeah and then over here it's just the pot and these things i got them from ikea you're gonna need them if you had like you know um the counter space that's not that's granite then you wouldn't need them but i when i take the pot of the stove i want to place a over here just to put the hot the hot pot so it doesn't burn the, the backsplash so you get over here this is my little soap over here i got my sponge put my sponge there but the sponge i don't know what that is and over here guys that's the light that i just so just to create more light and look i did every knob i got this from amazon every here is all my utensils all my spoons and everything and then oh, i forgot to show you this is my little thing and i want to get like this thing that you put um you can pick up the pot with so i could hang it here so be more accessible oh so this is the rug the area rug that i got you know it ties up with um with everything i know it's a bit like but it, it's still it has gold then it has a little bit of brown that goes with this with the knobs which is okay to me um And this painting right here, that's from Haiti, my friend's um, bought for me. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Like I always say, have a joyful, peaceful, wonderful, and a blessed day. And I will see you in the next video.